Hello people, this video is for tankmen, but it is about how to fly and why you do need it. There are some reasons for tankmen to use aviation in tank arcade battles. The first one, it helps to research such very useful models as repair kit or extinguishers for the tank you have just bought. Take another tank first and earn a flight by it. After you lost that tank, take the unit you need to research repair kit for and press 7 or 8 or 9. The second one is revenge. Sometimes you just want to punish the sneaky enemy which kill you. You just take attacker or bomber and find him. You can also see he is going to fly by bomber and you can take a fighter and get your revenge in the air. The third one is repair time. Sometimes you stay behind the stone and wait for repair during 30 or even 40 seconds. Why wouldn't you fly while repaired? So, in tank arcade you have three types of flights. The first one is a fighter flight. You can press 7 to attack enemies bomber or attacker, or for to cover your allied bomber or attacker. Anyway, you deal with another fighters first, and it is rather simple. The flight length is only 1 minute, so you do not have time for the fight. That's why I usually go for head-ons. Wait for 1 km distance and shoot aiming over enemy plane. Even if you do not kill him at once, you have a great chance to get kill after he crashed over ground, like in this episode with Zero. But sometimes there is a sense to take fighter, even if there is no enemies once in the air. You can attack anti-air units or SPGs with open hull, with your guns. Even if you do not kill them, you can get assist. You can also collect some assist for attacking another tanks. Just hit as many tanks as you can, begin from the tanks which are closer to your teammates as they can die soon. They give you the best chance to get an assist, it really helps with experience point earning. The easiest one is a bomber. It has bombs only, just dive after you have appeared and try to find the best target during your way to battlefield. The best targets are heavy tanks, especially if they are hiding behind the cover, because they usually cannot escape from the bombs so fast. Just drop the bombs with the spy space bar and enjoy the show. You can also try to kill some fighters catching you. And the hardest one is an attacker you can get press nade. No, if you get a thunderbolt or mosquito with a 10 uh, rockets, it's not a problem. Just dive to the target and la launch, launch all the rockets from the short distance. And when you get PBG, it's not a problem too, because you have the same bombs which have a lot of bombers. But the problem is if you get ill 2 It has only two, uh, 4 rockets and uh, 4 little bombs. I usually miss targets with uh, its rockets, and it is really a problem to kill anyone with wet bombs. You need to look for heavy tank and you need really direct hit. But it is possible anyway. Though you can use it like a fighter after that. So, making a conclusion, I just want to say, do not hesitate to fly. It is also a good training to begin to fly in air arcade or even in air realistic battles. And it really helps with research points and uh, silver lines area. Okay, that's it for today. Thanks for watching and see you in the next videos.